Oh, sorry. There we go. Yeah. How's that? Nice clean bed. Nice clean home for your babies. Hmm? <clears throat> yeah, there they are. There they are. Where's that chocolate mama? This is her first litter. She didn't pull any new fur. I tried to pull some from her, but I didn't want to pull too hard. But there was enough in the box that was still dry, so that works. If it didn't, I would have just gone and shredded some newspaper, probably, and put that on top of them. Hi, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to stop bugging you. Give you some more hay too. Huh? More hay. You don't have enough to sit on anymore. No, I need to give you some more. Hey. That's a good girl. Okay, next. And these ones are all good. They still have enough uh, shavings in there. Give them a little bit more hay. You a lot more hay. She's gotten fat looking. Hopefully that means she is well getting pregnant. These two stay in here because they are um, they have to stay separate. She was in here because she was healing because this rabbit got into the other hutch that they that they were in. She found a way to crawl over not this one but the divider that was in that cage and she went and she tried to castrate her and almost did and she did it twice so she's permanently in here. I'm thinking I might call her because she is very aggressive. I just learned what her breed was. She's a Salander. Salander, I don't know how to pronounce it. She's gorgeous. I love her. She's just really aggressive. So we'll see. I'll, I might keep her. I haven't made up my mind. But if I keep her, she'll be here. On, she'll stay on this, in this hutch. She won't be allowed to be near other rabbits because she is very aggressive. She's not aggressive with her kits. She's not aggressive with me. Ever. But with other does, ooh, look out. She is a bitch. So she cannot be housed with other rabbits. Unfortunately. She is Suki's mama. And Rain's mama. The one we just looked at with the kits. Yep. Mm -hmm. She makes those beautiful colors. And she has chinchilla. She carries chinchilla. That's Suki's color. She is so beautiful. I love her so much. So I'm going to see if her daughter can give me some chinchilla. And if she can't, or if she doesn't, <laughs> I'll keep Lily here. If her daughter Rain can give me chinchilla then I'll probably remove her. <laughs> Next month, I breed her daughter Suki, so we'll see what colors I get off of her, too. And that'll help make my decision. Hi, Smokey. Hi, sweetie. <clears throat> Hi, Mama. You're such a sweetheart. Hmm. She's a sweetie, but she doesn't really like to be touched, understandably. <laughs> She's been 
This rabbit's fucked with her so much. She doesn't like being handled. She doesn't like being touched. Because I've had to mess with her so much from taking care of her for her injuries and stuff. She's about had it with my shit. Huh, baby? Can I have this, please? Put it right here so I can fill you up. Yes, I can fill you up. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetie. I love how when you rub their noses, they <laughs> it, it twitches them. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. You're such a good girl. And I just bred her to Lafayette. So she should make me beautiful babies. Yes, she should. And hopefully get some, bru some blue Rex, huh? Because that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, I'll go get your water. Hold on. She likes when I put her new hay <laughs> and I build it up like that. She has fun destroying it. There's coal. She good. Her hutch stayed nice and dry. Her box is nice and dry. Her hay is all dry. Most of it's new, but her hay this morning was all dry. Her hutch is an old, is an old work table. <laughs> and it's just wrapped in wire. Took out the bottom. There were some planks missing. But I had a board that fit it perfect. I don't even need to put anything on it. She never messes with it. And then I tarp it with the trash bag. All the stuff on it. That back wall is covered with the colony. And then when the bag is down, I cover it with this big board so it's not flying up and flapping up. Or open. It's my favorite hutch. I love this one. Mm. Oh, Gus got his food. They all still need water. I'm just finishing up with their hay and their food. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Gus. He's such a good boy. He's so cute. He's a little miniature Arnold. He's so ripped, huh? Huh? When you breed him, all of his muscles flex. It's trippy. <laughs> what babies? They're following me around. They think I'm gonna feed them. I haven't fed them yet. Okay. And my sweetheart Lafayette. He did get wet, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna get your water. Hold on. I gotta finish with all of your food first. And go get a jug. The this side's empty. He was on that side, but he jumped over to this side. So I put a box on each side because I didn't know if he was gonna stay on this side or not. But my covering came off. Not this. This is for Gus. But I had a the plastic sheet on it. And I had this. This is like really thick, very heavy uh, vinyl. And it's the perfect length for this whole thing. But with all the wind, we, ha we had 70, 70 uh, mile per hour wind last night. And it blew it clear off. Tore up my plastic. This final is still the perfect covering. I just got to weight it down if we're going to be having winds that bad. But he didn't get very wet. He only got a little wet. Oh, babies. Only a little bit. And I came out very early this morning to check on them all. And grabbed him right away. Saw that he was a little tiny bit wet. Brought him inside, warmed him up. And found out. Oh, he's a lover. He 
when I was holding him, he wasn't all too happy. But the second I held his ears, not like holding his head or restricting him, just putting, you know, holding my hands around his ears. Oh my God, he melted. Absolutely melted. His eyes went down and he was so happy. Every now and then he'd peek at me just to make sure I wasn't doing anything funny. But his eyes went down like how he was there. How his eyes kind of lowered. And then he would like kind of sleep in my hands. The second I put my hands over his ears, he was so happy. He likes his ears warm. <laughs> He's a cutie pie. He's such a sweetie. And oh my god, he's so soft. He is my softest Rex. He is absolutely beautiful. He is a pure breed. He's beautiful. He's my baby. He'll definitely be a permanent keeper. Well, till he ages out. But that won't be for years and years, huh, my buddy? Yeah. Such a good boy. Okay, let's go see the other ones. I hear noise. Okay. Colony rabbits are pretty dry. A little muddy. A little muddy. <laughs> Cute. They stayed pretty dry in there. In their dens for the most part. Are none or wet. <laughs> Gus had really good shelter over there in the in the filing cabinet. He has his food in there and a big like that thing is packed full of hay. So he's got a nice place to sit in there. Hey, buddy, that's my Hugh, my half, huh? Yeah, that's Hafner. That rabbit's pecking at your face. Oh, he's picking stuff off. Chicken grooming. I just threw all the hay in that one pile and they're spreading it out for me. How nice they are. I knew they would. I didn't have to spread it out like I had to over here. Because they will do it for me. Chickens look like they all did good. My shade tarps are all fucked up. Look at that. Which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to fix that. He's gonna go mess around with the den. Aren't you? Yes, he's all frisky. Look at him. He's like, it's cool, it's cool, finally. That black one there, I gotta catch that one. It's like that one knows its time is up. I gotta catch her and take her out. She's like a little runt. She hasn't gotten no bigger <laughs> in a while. She's three months. So, yep, it's time to take her out. She's not a fur rabbit. She doesn't need to go any farther than that. Look, Santa Bunny's already chasing her. Wanting to mate. And she's almost there. She's the same age as Suki. That's her sister. Same litter. And I'm breeding her next month, so... I gotta grab that one and I'll probably do that today since it's a nice temperature outside. I should grab her. Yep, I'm gonna grab her. 
Oh, look, hold on before I go in there. Suki came out. Hi, sweetheart. My pretty girl. Look at you. I need to get her in a hutch. I need to make her a hutch. Because hmm. she is going to be a fur rabbit when she's done. And her fur is already starting to get a little brown because of the sun. Like the black one. Look at his, her fur. Hello. Okay, so I got this one, <laughs> got her, call me, call me, call me, go away, don't get me, I got you, I got you, okay, oh my god. Chill up in my arm. There you go. <laughs> he wants to. There we go. I was like, why is it moving so much? I'm still zoomed in. Okay, so everyone's all fed and watered. Oh no, I still gotta do the water. Everyone's fed and got new hay. So that's about it. I'll cut, ooh, that was a very nice stretch, baby. I'll cut this one short so I can get all their water done. I gotta go get my buckets. Since weather is not good right now and it did get below, well, I've got two freezing last night. I don't wanna use my hose. So, buckets it is. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'll be right back with the water bunnies. <laughs>